Ranking the biggest of anything is a little bit tricky. Do we quantify them by their size, by their weight, by their length, or by what people would like to tell us they are? Well, except for maybe those last two, why don't we do all of them? And that's exactly what we're going to do for today's video. Today we're going to be ranking the biggest ever predatory dinosaurs to have ever walked the Earth. We base this ranking on the latest paleontological data published as of 2020, so this video might actually hold a few surprises for you. Number 10. Sushasaurus Rex, 35.74 feet and 4.9 tons. Sasiasaurus was discovered back in 2012 at the Sasaya Island State Park in San Juan County of Washington State. This was pretty big for the state because it made it the first ever dinosaur fossil found in the state's history. Aside from a few bone fragments, not much is actually known about this giant theropod. But based on the measurements of the bones taken by paleontologists, it may be the smallest and lightest on today's list. That being said, this guy was not small by any means. Measuring just shy of 36 feet and weighing a little under 5 tons, it was definitely still enough to take down fairly large prey. In 2019, the Washington State Legislature introduced a bill that would make the Sasiosaurus Rex the state's official dinosaur. Number 9. Bahariosaurus, 40.3 feet and 4.6 tons. This African theropod was one of the largest during its time in the late Cretaceous Africa. Paleontologists estimate the size of this predator to be around 40 feet on average and can weigh up to 4.6 tons. Again, no complete skeleton of this type of dinosaur has ever been found. The first fossils were described by Ernst Stromer in 1934, but it is believed that those same fossils were destroyed in an Allied bombing raid during World War II. No other fossils of Bahariosaurus have ever been found, but it is widely accepted to be a unique species of dinosaur, unrelated to its larger and more famous counterpart, such as the Spinosaurus. Let's just hope the more fossils can be found so we can find out more about this magnificent beast. Number 8. Acrocanthosaurus atakensis, 37.73 feet, 5.8 tons. Shorter but significantly heavier than the Bahariosaurus was Archocanthosaurus. It was a large carnosaur theropod dinosaur that had a large head, many sharp teeth, strong arms, powerful back legs, and a long slender tail that it used to balance its body when it ran. It lived around 112 million years ago during the early Cretaceous alongside the small raptor Dionychus and some small ankylosaurs. At just under 38 feet and weighing approximately 5.8 tons, it was large and heavy enough to hunt and prey on large sauropods. Archocanthosaurus had one feature that made it look quite unique from other theropods. That would be the tall sail along its neck, back, and tail. The sail was formed by very tall spines of the bones of the spine. Some of these spines were over a foot tall, which although aren't quite large, are nowhere near the sail of the again aforementioned Spinosaurus. The fossils of this creature were discovered in 1950 by a team of scientists led by paleontologist J. Will Staval and Juan Langston Jr. in Oklahoma. It has also been found in several states along the western half of America. It's also been found again in Oklahoma, Texas, Wyoming, Arizona, and even as far east as Maryland, which suggests that Archicanthosaurus was a very successful predator. Number 7. Tyrannotitan Chibatensis, 38.6 feet, 6.4 tons. In terms of discovery, Tyrannotitan Chibatensis is one of the youngest prehistoric predators on our list, only being discovered back in 2005 at the La Juanita Farm in Argentina. Only part of the teeth, jaw, spine, pelvis, and legs were found, which means how the animal exactly looked remains a mystery. Despite that, this monstrously large theropod has proved to be a well of information on the evolution of later Carcharodontosaurids and how they started to become a bit more Tyrannosaurid-like in anatomy. Scientists speculate that it would grow to just under 40 feet long and weigh over 6 tons. Its teeth were thicker than those of its Carcharodontosaurid relatives. In fact, they were somewhat similar to those seen in Tyrannosaurid dinosaurs and even had short arms like they did. Its spine was also curved, much like a Tyrannosaurid, and its tail was relatively long and powerful. This led many to believe that this dinosaur could actually swim, although it's unsure whether they lived a semi-aquatic life like some of the predators on this list. More than likely, the tail was used as a counterbalance to the animal's large, heavy, but relatively narrow head, which contained around 60 dagger-like teeth. Number 6. Megaloceros, 40.35 feet, 5.3 tons. Megaloceros occupies a very special part in the hearts of paleontologists everywhere. This is because its fossils were the first to have ever been found of any dinosaur. 
The discovery of Megalosaurus in 1824 changed the way scientists looked at Earth's past forever, since they then realized that humans weren't the first creatures to walk on this planet. Early size estimates put the Megalosaurus at between 23 to 30 feet and weigh around 1.5 to 2 tons. However, those figures have since been updated to around 40 feet long and 5.3 tons. It had a somewhat short but rather strong set of arms with three fingers which ended in sharp hook like claws, perfectly designed for slashing into skin and flesh, and also for gripping struggling prey. It also had long, powerful hind legs allowing it to chase down fleeing prey. Its tail, like most other theropods, was built to help balance it while moving. It also had a long, narrow skull with sharp blade-like teeth, perfect for slicing through the flesh of other creatures. It lived during the Jurassic period and was one of the biggest predators in prehistoric England. Number 5. Carcharodontosaurus sahericus. 39.97 feet, 6.4 tons. This dinosaur's name means shark-toothed lizard, and I'll give you one guess why it was named that way. This massive predator lived in Africa around 100 million years ago and was long thought to be the largest of all theropods, at 40 feet long and weighing 6.4 tons. Of course, that's no longer the case. Although it's no longer the biggest, it still merits being recognized as one of the largest ever. It looked very similar to its close relative, the Allosaurus. Although it was much bigger than the Allosaurus, both are Allosaurids as well. Big as well as smart, although possessing a small brain, researchers believed it was capable of figuring out hunting strategies. It would have been a very powerful hunter, with long front arms equipped with hook-like claws and narrow jaws with teeth much like those of a great white shark. It would have been graceful and elegant in design. Like many Allosaurus, it also had a ridge above each of its eyes. Number 4. Mapusaurus rose, 40.3 feet, 6.9 tons. Mapusaurus, which in Greek means Earth Lizard, was a giant theropod from the middle late Cretaceous of what is now present-day Argentina. It was once thought to be about just 32 feet long, but many other fossils have been discovered which now put it in the top 5 biggest predatory dinosaurs ever, measuring over 40 feet and weighing 6.9 tons. Some even suggest that it could grow as long as 43 feet long, but we're kinda sticking to verifiable measurements for now. Mapusaurus was excavated between 1997 and 2001, and was ascribed and named by paleontologists Rodolfo Coria and Phil Curry in 2006. And like most of its kind, it had a fairly large head. However, its powerful jaws and sharp teeth weren't designed for slicing and dicing, but rather for tearing out chunks of flesh off of their hapless victims. Number 3. The Spinosaurus. 49.21 feet and 6.9 tons. Spinosaurus was the biggest of all the carnivorous dinosaurs, larger than Tyrannosaurus and Higanotosaurus. So why is it only number three on this list? Well, at only 6.9 tons, it's definitely a lightweight compared to the next two. It lived during part of the Cretaceous period, about 112 million to 97 million years ago, roaming the swamps of North Africa. Its name means spine lizard, an appropriate descriptor, as the dinosaur had very long spines growing out of its back to what is referred to as a sail. The distinctive spines which grew out of the animal's back vertebrae were up to 7 feet long and were likely connected to one another by skin. Spinosaurus is thought to have survived primarily on fish including giant coelacanths, sawfish, large lungfish, and sharks, which is kind of a weird diet for a terrestrial predator. That is, if it was truly terrestrial. Recent fossil evidence shows Spinosaurus was the first dinosaur that was able to swim, and likely spent most of its life in the water. Spinosaurus had short hind limbs like early whales, dense and compact bones much like that of penguins, wide and flat claws and feet which were possibly used in paddling, and a long and slender snout with conical teeth. These teeth in particular were perfect for catching slippery fish. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's pick isn't the biggest on this list and also not the heaviest, but it certainly is capable of taking down the biggest prey items imaginable. Find out more next about this gargantuan predator with number 2. Gigantosaurus Carolini, 43.64 feet and 7.4 tons. Gigantosaurus was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs around and the second largest in our ranking. It roamed modern-day Argentina during the late Cretaceous period, about 99.6 to 97 million years ago. For a long time, Tyrannosaurus rex, the king of the dinosaurs, was thought to be the largest carnivorous dinosaur. 
Today, though, Gigantosaurus is believed to have been slightly larger than the T-Rex, though even Gigantosaurus ranks behind Spinosaurus in size among the meat-eating dinosaurs. First described in a 1995 study in the journal Nature, Gigantosaurus was, at the time, thought to be the largest carnivorous dinosaur. The specimen analyzed was up to 43 feet long from head to tail and weighed around 7.4 tons, which is why it only landed on the second spot on this list. It may be longer than the predator on the top spot, but it's less bulky. Despite being gargantuan, these guys can run quite fast. Models suggest the Gigantosaurus could run up to 31.3 miles per hour, at least according to a 2001 article in the journal Acta Paleontologica Polonica. Any faster than the animal would lose its stability and fall over. Rather like me when I decide to run. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Tyrannosaurus Rex, 42.98 feet and 9.3 tons, baby. I mean, really, could there be any other prehistoric predator worthy enough to occupy the top spot on this list? <laughs> I thought not. Apart from being among the most famous dinosaurs and certainly the most iconic, Tyrannosaurus is also the most scientifically significant. More study and debate has been conducted on this dinosaur than any other. This study has pieced together an image of Tyrannosaurus as an extremely large and deadly predator, supremely adapted to its Cretaceous world. He may be the smallest in terms of length among our top three contenders on today's video, averaging just under 43 feet. But at an outstanding weight of 9.3 tons, it outweighs Gigantosaurus by 2 tons. Tyrannosaurus had excellent stereoscopic vision and a highly developed and effective brain. Most researchers also believe that the Tyrannosaurus would have a bite force beyond that of any other terrestrial animal known to date. These factors come together to present Tyrannosaurus as the best candidate for the top of this list, and I would have it no other way personally. Do you agree with our ranking? Let us know down below in the comments. Also make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content, and as always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.